Satellite images measure electromagnetic radiation, especially light in the case of optical sensors. Most information extracted from them approximates real-world processes. To bridge the gap between satellite measurements and real-world processes, models are used, either simple regression or classification models, or even complex machine learning models. For instance, determining leaf area index relies on radiative transfer models, but actual leaves aren't counted in this way. To assess the quality of the model-derived products validation is essential in EO science. The first step of validation is to collect reference data. Since we are dealing with information across space and time, the samples have to represent this adequately. In a second step, the product derived from satellite data is compared to the reference information. The leaf area index map is compared to field measurements of the leaf area index. Different key performance indicators are used to quantify how well the map describes the reality. This is referred to as map accuracy. Imagine you've created an accurately validated map for the leaf area index of your area of interest. Motivated by the promising results, you want to apply the same model for the whole country, continent, or even globally. EO cloud platforms have the computing power to do so, but there are a few things to think about before going global. Be aware that users will infer local decisions based on your global map. Your model has been set up for a specific region and is not necessarily valid in other locations. In most cases, reference data is concentrated in Europe and Northern America. This may restrict the applicability of models to regions beyond these focal points. Extrapolating predictions far from the reference data often causes models to produce inaccurate results. Therefore, predictions should be restricted to the model's applicable area, graying out regions where predictor values significantly differ from the training data to prevent misleading conclusions and error propagation. Also, be aware that a global single number average for prediction errors hides variations between continents or climate zones and may not be useful for assessing map quality for your specific region. Keep these points in mind before creating large-scale maps. Validating your results correctly and communicating accuracy isn't optional, it's a must.